the Diamondback plus trade divergence uses divergence inside of a trend to determine a trade that we want to take. Let me explain what divergence is for a moment. You can read books about it and whatever else, but let me explain what the basics are. Divergence is when price is moving in one direction, but an indicator is moving in the opposite direction. In this case, we're looking at the MACD, and you can put the MACD up in your chart. It doesn't matter if you put the MACD up on your chart or if you put the MACD divergence indicator that we've provided for you on your chart. Here's what's happening. In this instance, we're in a downward trend in the Phoenix phase. The 170 is below the 800. Then we get candles that are rising, and we get an indicator that's falling. This is divergence. Candles are rising, the indicator's falling. With divergence, we trust the indicator. The indicator's sloping down, we trust that. Why do we trust it? That's because price is trying to fake us out. Price is going up, but the indicator is falling, meaning that enthusiasm for the upward movement in the price does not exist. That means that people are not as enthusiastic about the movement upward. They don't like it. It's demonstrated very subtly. It's like spending time with your passive-aggressive relatives. On the surface, they look all peppy, but you know they're ready for you to leave, <laughs> right? You can tell it. You know the signals. Superficially, they look to be very excited that you're, they're at, you know, you're all visiting together at the house. But underneath the surface, they don't want you to be there anymore. The momentum has waned. The enthusiasm for this has waned. And you know this with people. You know it. You recognize this all the time. Movement upward on the surface, but something below the surface is occurring that shows you that the enthusiasm is dissipating. This is how we do the Diamondback Plus trade. The Diamondback Plus trade uses divergence in combination with the trend to trade when enthusiasm is dropping for movement against the trend. Let me give you an example using the screen in front of us right now. Any time that we see bearish divergence during a downward trend, we want to sell. And let me explain that in even more detail. Without using volume, which we can remove from the chart, we want to look at every instance where our indicator showed us bearish divergence in the downward trend. And here's where it did. In this instance right here, we see the candles rising slightly and the indicator falling slightly. That's bearish divergence. In this instance, we want to sell. We want to follow our stop loss and our profit target rules that we talked about earlier. Stop loss above the highs and a profit target down at a recent low somewhere on the chart. Later on, we get candles that are rising and an indicator that's falling. Once again, we want to trade that divergence. We want to enter a trade at the conclusion of that divergence, maybe on a change of color on the candles. Third, we get the candles rising slightly and the indicator falling slightly and we want to trade that and sell that off. Lastly, we get another example here where we see the candles rising and the indicator falling and we want to trade that. Now, in a moment I'm going to filter out some of these trades, but Sean, you could see right off the bat that the best ones that you can see here, this one and this one, those are the ones we want to take, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we want to take those. We we definitely want to take those ones. Those are the ones. Your money on these trades are going to come somewhere near the beginning of the trend. Once you take one, two, or three of these Diamondback Plus trades on divergence with the trend, you're going to be done. You don't necessarily want to take a thousand of these trades. The nice thing about this indicator that we've got for you in the forum is it draws both regular divergence, where the candles are rising and the indicator is falling, but also hidden divergence, where the candles are falling, but the indicator is rising, thus showing that even a small uptick in movement on this currency pair is met with a huge amount of overboughtness, that it takes very little for it to become overbought very quickly. That means in a downward trend that the new high is lower. That's the definition of lower highs in a downward trend is when an indicator goes overbought or over extreme much more quickly. That's hidden divergence and the indicator draws it automatically. In each of these cases, we want to be selling on this divergence. We want to put a stop loss above the recent highs and a profit target down at the recent lows. Let me show just a few more examples. This time I'm going to switch over to the Australian dollar, US dollar, which is one of my favorites. And you know that this has been in a downward trend for quite some time. This is a one hour chart. It doesn't matter what time frame chart you use. But here's a one hour chart and here's some examples of trades that we can see. Here's the first regular divergence right here after the trend begins. 
Candles are rising. Indicator is falling. Color change and a trade. So we skip all these other color changes until this moment in time. Skip all of them until we get regular divergence. Look at this, this next one. Regular divergence. Candles are rising slightly. Indicators falling slightly. And we sell. A third opportunity comes here and here. Two of them right there. Candles are rising, indicator is falling, and another sell trade exists. Sean, those are three great trend trades in the trend. And once those are done, after the third trend trade with divergence, we just want to turn it off. There may be other examples of great trades, but we want to ignore them. Absolutely. Don't want to stick your hand in the cookie jar too many times. Yeah, exactly right. Let's put volume back on the chart. Other trades that we can take during this trend, we could look for spikes in volume accompanied by a stochastic oscillator, or we could look at a spike in volume accompanied by a change in color. So there could still be trades that we can take in this trend, but those first two or three regular divergences in that trend are the most important ones. Let me get the envelopes off of my chart right now, and let me get rid of the volume indicator, and let's look at an upward trend this time. So here's an upward trend. Australian dollar, US dollar is one of my favorites here. We get the 170 crossing above the 800, and then we get regular bullish divergence. Candles falling, price rising. Excuse me. Candles falling, indicator rising, and we go with that. We don't stop out of this most likely if you have a stop below this low, and we ride this trade upward. We get another divergence right here. Candles are falling, the indicator is rising. We get a buy trade that goes up. We've taken two now, so at most we might take one more bullish trade. Look at how far these go, Sean. Yeah. It, it, we don't get another regular <laughs> bullish divergence until all the way over here. It filters out an extraordinarily large number of trades. Candles falling. Indicator rising, and we get one last trend trade. Once again, we get about three trend trades at the most within any given trend. Sean, any questions come in for us? Yes. Uh, there's questions. Uh, do you hand draw the dotted lines on the MACD? That's a great question. All right, did I hand draw the MACD stuff? Let's go here, and I can't remember which one of those. There we go. This indicator does the extraordinary thing of drawing our lines for us. You could also put up the MACD and draw these indicator lines. Anytime price is rising, you draw a trend line above price. Anytime you do that, you then draw a line across the indicator and see if it's falling. You could do this with the MACD, you could do this with the stochastic RSI, CCI, or any other oscillator. The computer in MetaTrader draws those lines for me. I don't have to draw those lines. All right. Uh, would you say that there's a max of two or three on a one hour chart or on a or a max of three on a five minute chart? Any time frame chart, any financial instrument, a max of about three trend trades on any trend on any time frame chart. Let's go to the US dollar Mexican peso and look at the 15 minute chart, for example. So we're going to look at an upward trend right here. Doesn't matter what we're looking at. Bullish divergence, regular bullish divergence. Price is falling, indicator is rising. Bullish trend trade. And that's number one. Number two happens right here. You can barely see it, it's kind of small. Number two, and then number three, that's the three trades. Doesn't matter. We could look at any time frame chart, any financial instrument. We get a fourth over here, but we're not going to take it. If it's accompanied by a spike in volume, well, maybe then I'd consider it. <laughs> Let's see if it is. <laughs> and it is. So I might consider that one right there, Sean. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you'd be justified in taking it for sure. Um, and then uh, we're basically ignoring hidden divergence for now, correct? Yeah, we're ignoring hidden divergence even though it draws it. We're going to do a lesson on hidden divergence as part of 
uh, an expanded advanced section, but hidden divergence tends to confuse us as much as it uh, helps us. And so we avoid it at the beginning until uh, everyone feels comfortable with regular divergence. Jennifer, any comments or questions, thoughts from you? Scott? No, it looks, um, really, it looks really good, Bob. Right. I have a, a I'm going to stop trade. this recording of the Diamondback Plus divergence trade unless, Sean, do you have any questions that came in from our Arizona Rules members? Uh, the last question was, how many candles do you wait um, to take the trade? Yes. Okay, how many candles do you wait to take the trade is the question. What we do is wait for the regular divergence to occur, and then we have a regular old change of color from bearish to bullish in an upward trend, or vice versa in a downward trend. All right. Here we go. That's the...